It's a bit like Taiwan and China. Oh, Taiwan is uh, different. Taiwan is Chinese, but their right. the base is not English. And yeah, Taiwan, so Taiwan, Taiwan, if you want to go to China, maybe it's easier to go via Taiwan. Oh, yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah, that's right. And the Taiwan is uh, just a step to move into to China. Just try to do some uh, test test there. Taiwan is one example. So, if you would were to re recommend Malaysia to do something, or Malaysia businessmen to to do something, that what you would recommend is to actually uh, become a a hub, not only to develop your business in in uh, in Malaysia, but actually to create a network from Malaysia to the other surrounding countries, so that they cannot only leverage it, their own. It means it means it name. means it means Japanese company will employ Malaysian people. It means okay, a Japanese company employ Malaysian people. Japanese company employ Taiwanese people the same instead of mainland China, instead of mainland right. India. So, um, like uh, India already Malaysian people is much more influenced by Malaysian culture. So we can very easy to get trust trust relationship with uh, Malaysian origin people, Indian origin people in Malaysia rather than India. So this is my strong uh, uh, opinion is Malaysia is uh, one of most closest country from Japan. But Japanese people, they don't recognize that. They try to move to Singapore. No, 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 no. This is diff this is long, long way. Malaysian first. Why mm -hmm. is the culture? Yeah. So, so why why Singapore then? Because Singapore actually is more expensive. Than no, no. Singapore is. I I think uh, Singaporean is uh, Singaporean. Okay, uh, the living living there is too much local, rather than Malaysia. Singaporeans are very local people. So, but what 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 is the attraction of Singapore then? Oh, Singapore is the culture. Culture is uh, their family. Oh, Japanese people be, very easy to contact those people. And the culture and this is different from uh, mainland China. They moving uh, moving from China. Uh, China origin people moving from China almost two hundred years ago, one hundred fifty years ago. Their culture is more getting milder than Ch original Chinese. Indian people are saying move, moving from India to Malaysia is their culture is different now. So uh, and they are the government is long history. They very much focus into Japan. Mahathir is also they like Japan, and uh, their intention to how to understand Japanese is very much rather than the surrounding country. But very few people come into Japan uh, from Malaysia because Malaysian population is not so big, not like Vietnam. Vietnam is 100 million, Malaysia is 30 million, not so big. And also they are stable, so they are not uh, so much eager to move outside Malaysia. Right. So I think uh, Malaysia is a good opportunity for, for investment from Japan, but also good investment to doing work with Malaysian people. This is my reason. Better than Indonesia, better than Vietnam, of course, better than Singapore. <laughs> well, it's, it's much more stable than Indonesia. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Level yeah. Is probably higher. Mm. Exactly, yeah. Indonesia is a 13,000 islands, so not easy to manage. With very difficult, people. very difficult for yeah. logistics. Their culture, is, for... Their, their culture is, is very much different. They're hot people. Malaysian mm. people are not hot people, very unstable. Right. So this is my opinion. So I I think uh, Kimoto is a good aspect to try to focus on Malaysia, and uh, but I'm not sure how come he just uh, moved into Penang. But uh, and uh, I think uh, very good you know uh, aspect he has. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe uh, maybe uh, uh, Yuva knows the answer. Why why uh, is uh, Kimoto san so interested in Penang? What is special about Penang versus the rest of India, of uh, Malaysia? Uh, <laughs> because Penang, uh, the technology is just, just growing with the technology in Penang. And mm. I think uh, when we compare with Kuala Lumpur, so the main cities in Malaysia is Johor Bahru, Kuala Lumpur, and Penang. So when we compare with the other states, 
Chile uh, is less competitive and it is easy to grab the market in Chile. Mm. Yeah. Like a, uh, yeah, this is like a Dalian, Shanghai, Beijing or Shenzhen. Right, Dalian. Yeah, yeah, but Johor Bahru is also a good, good city. Uh, good city, uh, but uh, the prices are keep increasing because uh, most of the Singaporean they travel to Johor Bahru uh, because of the price. So, but uh, because of the Singaporeans, they uh, in Johor Bahru the people are trying to keep the property and then the surviving level it is very high level now. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Past three years, they see especially doubling up everything. Yes, I know that. And yeah. uh, but but they have opportunity to doing business with Singapore, very close, you know. And just a, a couple hours drive, they can get into the yeah. downtown to Singapore. So very easy to you know access. But the, 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 so like what's happening in Johor Bahru, uh, yeah. so the prices are 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 increasing dramatically. So what you see is that a lot of people with short-term interests, the people who, not the people who are making stuff, but the people who are uh, uh, investing uh, the money, they will be interested in your whole father because uh, there's a, they, you, they see the prices are everything rising. So wealth, like money, inactive money, is moving into places like that because they can make a quick return on investment. But they are actually basically destroying the competitiveness of a place like that. So it's not in the interest of people, but it's in the interest of money that uh, that money goes there. Uh, it's it's a it's a dangerous development for for the competitiveness of uh, of Malaysia. Uh, and this is another example as to where uh, there is a conflict between in interests of the of of people who own the wealth and people who are actually making stuff, the real economy, the, the, the factories, um, they need lower prices, they need good infrastructure, but uh, uh, what you see with, with people who own wealth, they are basically just looking at the numbers. So if they see that, that uh, the housing prices are quickly uh, increasing, then there, there might be even more uh, even though the prices are rising fast, there might be even more money coming in. But th this is not healthy money. This is basically uh, doing more bad than good for uh, for these rapid developing uh, uh, areas like your whole family. No, my